Welcome fellow fans of Clash of Clans. It is your host Galadon and oh man, do we have a ton of answers in today's episode. And they came directly from the mouth of Fernando Ferry, the new Clash of Clans community manager who recently sat down with Reddit Talks Clash, a new and exciting Clash of Clans podcast slash YouTube channel that you should probably check out and subscribe to. They have less than 100 subs, so let's show them some love. I have highlights from that podcast podcast in today's episode but you can see right here they cover a ton of content in about an hour sitting down with Fernando and they definitely don't avoid the controversial questions and uh, I've got some of those highlights right here because I gotta tell you there's some surprises but also some things that I don't necessarily agree with so let's get right into it and tell you what I'm talking about they asked Fernando about the diamond pass in Clash of Clans and whether or not the current event passes actually were the diamond pass. This following clip is Fernando's voice and just a portion of his answer. For us, we definitely don't see it as a diamond pass uh, because it is directly attached to this limited time event. So it's true. Yes, the season pass and the pass for the special events are not a diamond pass, even though technically if you add them together, they cost about as much as a diamond pass would. I think it's a matter of semantics. Technically, we have seen the replacement of a diamond pass with these events. And that answer is supported by Fernando's statement here. We definitely don't have any plans of adding a diamond pass. Uh, anytime soon, the future, anything at all that's never been considered. They're not considering adding a diamond pass, which makes complete sense because you're already spending the amount by adding the season pass to the event pass cost. So let's just agree to disagree on that one. The diamond pass is here. No, it's not. It is. No, it isn't. Now there's little argument as to the fact that Epic Hero equipment has been coming at a fast pace. And when asked if there was going to be more. So I can say for sure that that's going to happen, let's say each month uh, mm -hmm. of the year until the end of the year. But I can say if the next few events, uh, there will be Epic Commits. Yes, for sure. Okay, so sometimes it's hard to tell whether he's saying can or can't, but in that answer, I think Fernando said we should expect more Epic Equipment in every event in the coming months, but not necessarily forever. It, it seems like there's a lot of Epic Equipment coming and a lot of events. When asked about the frequency of events, Fernando said this. And the idea is right now, as you can see, like uh, we have a month that we're gonna have this bigger event with like the skins and everything uh like we had with the uh dragon festival and the other event's gonna be like a small scale event like the super troop and then the next month you can expect another big event again and so on so it sounds like yes an event every single month but every other month the event will be smaller like this super troop event and then the alternating months will have a bigger event like the dragon festival now there was a lot of discussion about the balance or imbalance in the game right now and make sure you check out the rest of the podcast to hear the detailed answer Answer, but breaking it down to a quick answer from Fernando? Nerfing or buffing, whatever it is, uh, is not the solution because we need to look at this at the entire player base. We can't make a change that would just like satisfy a small portion of the player base. I understand his question, but I think when it comes to specifically root riders, they need a change. And I could be wrong. I could be completely wrong on that. Overall, yes, offense is still way overpowered and they are looking at other ways to solve that. One of the things that is being asked, and it is something that we are looking at right now, is the pro mode uh, alternative. This is a way to separate the average casual players from the professional players. Another way would be through bans. So also something that came up is kind of like a ban system. And he's not talking about banning players, but rather the way like, for instance, Clash Royale bans certain cards from events or from matches. Maybe that's something they could do with the pros. Also, Fernando seems to agree that we all need more ore. And so we're looking to new ways to add ores in the game. We definitely know there's a problem. We definitely know they need more ores uh, in the game economy. So this is something we're looking at to find new ways to add ores to the game. And they're also looking for a way to add new heroes to the game. So make sure you check out the complete Reddit Talks Clash podcast YouTube channel. Thank you for watching all the way to the end of this brief but very informative episode. Now get out there, make the best of the rest of your day, week, month, and year. Be kind to other people, animals, and the planet. And we'll see you all back here again tomorrow for more full attacks. Done.
Galley Dawn, there was a lot of information for five minutes. My brain's still spinning around and around.